Angioedema. Symptoms of angioedema. The main sign of angioedema is swelling that develops below the skin surface. Swollen skin. The swelling is caused by a collection of fluid in the deep layers of the skin. It most often affects the hands, feet, eyes, lips, or genitals. In severe cases, the inside lining of the throat and bowel can be affected, see below. The swelling usually appears suddenly and is more severe than normal hives, nettle rash. It commonly lasts one to three days. There may be a prickling sensation in the affected area before swelling is visible. The swelling is not itchy and the skin may look a normal color. However, many people with allergic or idiopathic angioedema also develop urticaria, hives, which is red and itchy. Other symptoms. As well as visible swellings, angioedema can cause other symptoms, including a hot or painful sensation in the swollen areas, swelling of the inside of the throat, the windpipe and the tongue, making breathing difficult, swelling of the conjunctiva, the transparent layer of cells that cover the white part of the eye, which affects vision. People with hereditary angioedema may also experience Abdominal, stomach, pain caused by swelling in the stomach and bowel, which can cause nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Swelling of the bladder or urethra, the tube that connects the bladder to the genitals, which can cause bladder problems and difficulty passing urine. When to seek medical advice. Contact your GP if you have an episode of angioedema that does not affect your breathing and you have not previously been diagnosed with the condition. You will need to have tests to determine what type of angioedema you have. When to seek emergency medical advice. Dial 999 to request an ambulance if you suspect that you, or someone you know, is experiencing anaphylaxis, a severe allergic reaction. Tell the operator that you suspect anaphylaxis. Initial symptoms of anaphylaxis include A feeling of tightness in the chest that leads to breathing problems. Swelling of the tongue and throat. Causes of angioedema. Angioedema is often caused by a problem with the immune system, although there are many cases where no cause can be identified. Allergic angioedema. Normally, your immune system protects your body from illness and infection by attacking germs in your body. In allergic angioedema, your immune system mistakenly attacks harmless substances in your blood. Your body produces the chemical histamine, which causes the blood vessels in the area to expand, leading to swelling of the skin. Substances known to trigger allergic angioedema include certain types of food, particularly nuts, shellfish, milk and eggs. Some types of medication, such as penicillin, aspirin and nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen, insect bites and stings, particularly wasp and bee stings. Latex, a naturally occurring rubber used to make medical gloves, balloons, and condoms. Idiopathic angioedema. Cases of angioedema without an identifiable cause are known as idiopathic angioedema. It may be that a problem with the immune system sometimes causes it to misfire. In cases of idiopathic angioedema, certain triggers may lead to swelling, such as anxiety or stress. Minor infections. Hot or cold temperatures. Exercise. Avoiding these triggers whenever possible may improve your symptoms. Drug induced angioedema. Some medications can cause angioedema. Angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitors, which are used to treat high blood pressure, hypertension, are usually responsible. It's estimated that around 1 to 5% of people taking ACE inhibitors will develop drug induced angioedema. Black people being treated with ACE inhibitors are three to four times more likely to develop this side effect than white people. Around one in four cases of drug induced angioedema occurs during the first month of taking an ACE inhibitor. The remaining cases develop many months or even years after treatment begins. While they are useful in lowering blood pressure, ACE inhibitors can sometimes disrupt the chemical balance and trigger an episode of severe swelling. Less common causes of drug-induced angioedema include Bupropion, a medication that helps people to give up smoking. Vaccines. 
Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, a type of antidepressant. COX-2 inhibitors, a type of painkiller used to treat chronic pain conditions such as arthritis. NSAIDs, a type of painkiller, such as aspirin or ibuprofen. Angiotensin-2 receptor antagonists, another medication used to treat high blood pressure. Statins, used to treat people with high cholesterol levels. Proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, used to treat stomach ulcers. Hereditary angioedema. Hereditary angioedema is caused by a genetic mutation, a change in the DNA, in the C1 esterase inhibitor, C1INH, gene. Genes are single units of genetic material that code for characteristics such as eye and hair color. As a result of the mutated C1INH gene, the body does not make enough C1INH protein. This protein plays an important role in regulating the immune system. Without enough C1INH protein, the immune system can misfire and trigger the symptoms of angioedema. Certain things are thought to trigger hereditary angioedema, such as trauma, including surgery or infection, the oral contraceptive pill, pregnancy, treating angioedema, Medication is the main treatment for angioedema, although many cases get better after a few days without treatment. Allergic angioedema and idiopathic angioedema are usually treated in the same way, using a combination of antihistamines and corticosteroids to help relieve the swelling. Drug-induced angioedema can usually be treated by using an alternative medication to the one causing your symptoms. If you also had symptoms of anaphylaxis during an episode of angioedema, you will probably be given an adrenaline auto-injector pen in case your symptoms return. Hereditary angioedema cannot be cured and does not respond to adrenaline, antihistamines, or steroids, so a preventative approach is taken. A number of different medications are used to stabilize the protein levels in your blood to help prevent symptoms developing. Antihistamines Antihistamines work by blocking the effects of a protein called histamine, which is one of the chemicals responsible for causing your skin to swell. A two-week course of a non-sedating type of antihistamine, which does not cause drowsiness, is usually recommended, these include fexofenadine and cetirizine. Cetirizine can be bought over-the-counter in pharmacies and supermarkets without a prescription. Antihistamines can also be given by injection at hospital or your GP surgery. If you also have urticaria, hives, and are being kept awake at night by itchy skin, your GP may prescribe an older type of antihistamine to take before going to bed. These types cause drowsiness and should help you sleep. A minority of people will still experience drowsiness after taking the newer type of antihistamines. If you find yourself feeling drowsy, you should avoid driving, drinking alcohol, operating complex or heavy machinery. Other side effects of the newer antihistamines include headache, dry mouth, dry nose. These side effects are usually short lived and should pass quickly. Corticosteroids. Corticosteroids, steroids, work by blocking many of your immune system's actions. In most cases, a 3 to 5 day course of steroid tablets is recommended. A steroid called prednisolone is the preferred choice. Side effects of prednisolone include nausea, abdominal, stomach, pain, tiredness, oral thrush, a fungal infection inside your mouth, dizziness. If you feel dizzy after taking prednisolone, avoid driving and operating heavy machinery. These side effects should pass once you finish the course of treatment. Steroid injections may be needed for more severe cases of angioedema. These are usually administered in hospitals or at specialist clinics by an allergy specialist or immunologist, a doctor who specializes in treating conditions that affect the immune system. Medication for hereditary angioedema The medication used to treat hereditary angioedema falls into one of two categories. Medication used to prevent angioedema. Medication used to relieve symptoms. Danazole Danazol is a synthetic hormone that is effective in preventing the symptoms of angioedema because it helps boost levels of the C1INH protein. 
However, danazole can cause a number of unpleasant side effects if used on a long-term basis. For example, it may cause weight gain, depression, disruption to the menstrual cycle, such as irregular periods or absent periods, high blood pressure. In women, changes to the body that are usually associated with men, such as excessive body hair growth, flattening of the chest, deepening of the voice, and an increase in muscle tone, liver problems. Due to these side effects, many people with hereditary angioedema are uneasy about using danazole on a long-term basis. Stanozolol is a similar medication that is slightly better tolerated. Tranexamic acid. Tranexamic acid is also an alternative medication to danazole. It can be as effective as danazole but does not cause as many side effects and is preferred for use in women. Acatabint Acatabint is a relatively new medication used to treat acute, short-lasting, episodes of swelling. It works by blocking the effects of some of the chemicals that are responsible for causing the swelling in cases of hereditary angioedema. Acatabint is given by injection under the skin, and a second injection is often required. Common side effects of acatabint include Adverse skin reactions at the site of the injection, such as pain, redness, swelling, or itchiness. Itchiness in other areas of the skin. Dizziness. C1 inhibitors. Purified C1 inhibitor concentrate is widely used to replace the missing protein in the blood. It's needed for patients undergoing surgery to prevent attacks caused by surgical trauma 